Regulators! Mount up. Morning, everybody. Lewis here. R Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, today we're actually doing kind of a uh, product review and first cook on our new smoker. Product review of the uh, new Meat Stick Wireless Thermometer Probe. And uh, then I'm also firing up the old uh, reverse flow smoker here. And we will see how she does uh, temperature wise on this. And then we'll also see how accurate that uh, meat stick probe is. We're also probably going to be using an eye grill to do as a comparison. Uh, now I know my eye grill will not reach my house. Um, and it's probably maybe 100 feet. Um, but this uh, meat stick is supposed to be 300 feet range. So we'll uh, put it in a, one of these pork butts that we got going and uh, we will go from there. So enjoy. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day um, out here. There's the smoker. Get a little bit of smoke. Okay, so we're gonna get our uh, pork butts on here and uh, we'll keep watching this fire, monitoring it. Now, I'm not going to stick the uh, probe in there yet. Probably wait about three hours because right now it's just gonna slowly cook um, and smoke. And then after that three hour mark, I will uh, stick that meat stick in it and another probe and we will uh, do comparison. We'll check the range, see how well it works from here to the house and uh, go from there. We're gonna monitor the fire since this is my first cook on this. We gotta figure out what it's gonna do. You can see I do get a lot of leakage around the door. So I'll probably have to come in with some new high heat felt. What is that RTV tape? Uh, gasket around these doors, get them sealed up a little better, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna use the eye grill and then we're gonna compare it to the meat stick. Uh, I know the eye grill, I'm not gonna use the app because I know it doesn't reach to my house, uh, but we'll put one of the probes in the same pork butt that we stick the uh, meat stick in and then the other one I'm just gonna stick in the other one, uh, other pork butt just to monitor it. And uh, we'll get the app going on the meat stick and we'll get it all set up. All right, so let's uh, power on the extender. And got the meat stick. Let's power that on. Turn the light on. Let's 
go into our this is this way so you can see it better. Sorry about that. Let's go into the grilling. And we want to add a stick. So we hit OK. And it's found our stick. We want to go into smoke. We're going to do pork. We're going to do pork butt pulled. We want our target temp to be 165 to begin with. Let's get down here. 65. Uh, we want our pit temp. We're going to say 260. 260. We're going to say we have an 8 pound pork buck says it'll take it about 16 hours, uh, but I don't think it'll take it that long. All righty, let's do next. All right, here we can set our warnings. We want the early warning at 155, so it'll start letting us know that we're getting close to the end of the cook. We want our ambient or our target warning at 165, which we already set. Then we want our ambient if the pit drops below 230, I want to know. There. Let's move that up. And if it goes above, I'm going to say 290. I want to know. So we have our alert set for uh, the temperature and for the cook. Now we hit next. And it's creating the cook. Next thing you need to do is take the meat stick out of there and take it out and stick it in the uh, pork butt and uh, we'll see what she does. So there's, there's how you program it. You can make edits and everything else by hitting the plus up there. You got the extender and then you've got your main uh, windows to go check out things. If you had the Wi-Fi bridge, you could hook it up there. Um, I don't have that. Saves your past cooks. You're now cooking and you can go to their website by hitting the shop. It'll take you right on into their website. So check that out. So it's saying it's 113. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, wrap some of these. I'm going to show you what I'm going to wrap them with. Uh, I'm going to first, of course, I got my brown sugar out here. I've got some all natural peach juice, still using peach. And then I got some parquet uh, squeezable butter. I also have some more of the Wana Rub uh, original barbecue, so I'll hit that on top too. Let me show you how I have my uh, table set up here. Okay, I have a layer of foil down for it. And then I've also got some uh, pink butcher paper. So I'm going to roll this out. I'm just going to tear us a section here. Probably be easier if I flip it over. Alright. So what we got, we got two bone-in pork butts and then I have two picnic shoulders uh, in there. They're smaller. I'm gonna pull those first. I'm gonna put them together and we'll put our uh, mixture of our, what do you call it, our brine to uh, get them to cook, so.
All right, so let's go into this uh, meat stick app. There's our cook. Let's click on our cook. So you can see we want to edit it. Um, see. Oh, there's the edit button up there in the corner. We want to change our target now because we're going to let it go until it hits. I'm going to say 200. Done. Um, want an early warning. Let's say we're going to go 190. We'll have to, we'll just decide then if we're going to pull it at 190 or we're going to let it roll. So now we hit save. Boom. Okay. So now you can see our pit is at 246. Um, we have it between 280 and 230 is the uh, warning. And we have an internal temp of 166 on the uh, butts right now. Um, and we have it set for a target of 200. Still got full battery on this. Um, so it looks like anytime you adjust this, the scale uh, resets. So um, since the last time uh, I set it up, it's been 16 minutes. Um, so I don't know if you can see the whole cook. Maybe at the end you can pull it and see what it does. So you see that it's got a little pig in the back because it knows we're doing pulled pork, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, seems to be running just great. Uh, the eye grill, when I checked it, it was right about the same thing. I think it was at uh, 168. So honestly, they're both running really, really close to each other. Um, I used my quick read uh, also, and it was right there too. So everything is telling me that this is an accurate temperature. Um, and uh, we will just let it run right there. It's going great. Okay, I had to run out for an hour, and uh, I'm sure this uh, disconnected. So let's see what uh, how quickly it recovers. Please move closer to your stick. Let's see what happens. So there, we see. So there, we see we've hit our uh, 206. We're running at 233. We're going to go out and we're going to pull it. It connected right back up. We're going to go out and pull it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, our egg grill says 192 on one of them, 191, and 205 on the other. Pit tip is running about 223 right now. So let's uh, take a look at them. Just pooling up in there. And you know that's not all that peach juice, that is actually meat juice. Oh. Okay, let's talk about uh, the meat stick for a moment. Um, so what, this was my 
initial cook on this, doing those pork butts out on the reverse flow um, smoker. And my initial thoughts is I like it. Uh, the range was perfect for what I need uh, for getting out there. Um, it'll work great in the R Shack Cook Shack. Um, being wireless like that, no wires, just an extender. Shot it right to my phone. Uh, it never dropped and I had to leave for an hour. I came back and it connected right back. It said move closer, but then it caught it and was right where it was supposed to be. Uh, I like the fact that it shows me what my ambient temp is around the meat and then also the uh, internal temp. And I had an eye grill hooked up and I also used my quick read uh, thermometer and probed them. And all of them were within a couple of degrees of each other. There was not like a 10 degree swing from one probe to the other. They were all right there, uh, which is great because that tells me that this thing is probably pretty accurate. Um, I got a uh, little uh, discount code, which I'll have probably over here or here uh, for you. If you're interested in looking at these, you can find them on, you know, Facebook, uh, Instagram and YouTube. Uh, their channels will also be in that little uh, card that they gave me. Uh, like I said, they contacted me and asked if I'd be willing to review this. They didn't. The only stipulations they asked was that I do a unboxing video and a couple of cooks on it. They didn't sell me to, uh, you know, pimp their product or anything like that. Just do it and give my honest review. And I like it. I like it a lot for this first cook. Um, I have some other surprises coming up here very shortly on some other products that I actually purchased. Uh, but I'm looking forward to using this with that. And then also on that reverse flow uh, smoker trailer, uh, I, <laughs> I love the fact that I can just plug it in there and uh, it gives me both temps. Um, as you see, the battery in this one picture I took at the very end when I brought it back in the house, uh, the battery still was full. Uh, and that was, I would say, five hours. Um, let's see, right now it's four o'clock and I put it in at 11. So yeah, five hours of it in the smoker uh, recording data. Uh, and it's still full charge. So I would say easily 10 hours uh, on it. Um, I'll do some more research, but I don't, you know, I didn't look at the instructions or anything about uh, how long it should last because I wanted this to be realistic. Um, I wanted it to be, okay, I got this thing in the mail. I'm going to see what it does, um, you know, from having to go out and buy batteries for it uh, to unboxing it, to loading the app uh, and that was in that previous video um, to actually programming it and hooking it up to the meat and letting it go um, so yeah i like it um, you know the smoker did a wonderful wonderful job uh, wanna rub is pretty good um, i like it uh, we're going to try it on some ribs next uh, but uh yeah, overall, I like the meat stick. Um, we'll see what it does on the next cook, too, and uh, we'll go from there. So, anyhow, I hope you like this uh, kind of this product review, first-time cook uh, thing. I'll have some pictures of the pulled pork once I get it all pulled and everything. Right now, it's out in a cooler, uh, resting, um, so I'll let it sit out there for, you know, probably two hours and then uh, shred it up. Um, may do a special video just on how to shred it up. Uh, I'm try a new technique. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this uh, meat to work and uh, 
the guys and the gals that I work with are going to enjoy it. Um, so once again, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can do this too. Check out Meat Stick. Um, see if it'll meet what you need as in a wireless uh, thermometer probe. Um, this is something that I'm, I'm definitely going to be using quite a bit. Um, and like I always say, grill on, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.